Uh, let's uh, continue the market discussion uh, now. Glenn Hutchins, a notable private equity investor, chairman uh, of investment firm North Island, joins us uh, now. Glenn, very good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us. Hello, Will. Thank you for having me. We, we clearly closed a little bit off the highs, but the Dow's still up uh, over 10 percent uh, in the, the start of November. Uh, has the news flow over the last week justified such an aggressive uh, run up uh, in stocks? Yeah, Wilf, as you noted, I'm a private equity and technology investor, not a day-to-day -day markets investor. So the overall market levels are a little bit outside of my pay grade. But I would say that there's a lot of euphoria for good reasons. We have uh, political certainty uh, and we have uh, really good news about the, um, the vaccine. But I would point out, and this is important to, um, to, uh, for people to understand, uh, is that even in the best case uh, from the Pfizer numbers now, 2021 is a transition year. Uh, it's not a year in which we're going to get to, you asked a question earlier, one of your guests about herd immunity. We're not going to get to that in 2021, consequence of which there are still going to be a lot of people unemployed and there's still going to be a meaningful decline in the economic output that we produce relative to the beginning of the virus. So it's very, very important to have a stimulus bill. And I think that's part of what's in the market as well. People are focusing on the Pfizer piece today, which is very good news, but I think they're also market is also expecting continuing, continuing low interest rates and a new stimulus boost. Let, let's touch on those interest rates, whether it's uh, for, for the big cap tech stocks uh, that you know well or, or making private equity investments. How closely do you watch what the Treasury yield uh, curve is doing, short or, or long end, in terms of it influencing the valuation multiple you're, you're willing to pay for things, uh, clearly as it relates to some of the big cap tech stocks that sold off today? Well, basic equity, I think the, the big cap tech stocks sold off today simply because of rotation away from the uh, work at home stocks to more of the, um, the what I'll call COVID sensitive stocks. But um, the low interest rates are here to stay for a meaningful time. The Treasury Department, had, the, I'm sorry, the Fed has signaled that very, uh, very clearly. Uh, and that's obviously the way equity math works. That's a, a big boost to the equity markets. So that's a stable piece of the market right now. Uh, but I think te te technology stocks are much less interest rate sensitive than our stocks in the, in the broader part of what I'll call the terrestrial economy. And so I think technology stocks are much more about kind of earnings power going forward than a, rather than their compar the comparison of their cost of capital to interest rates, if that makes sense. So I don't look at it in that perspective. You asked me about overall market levels, and I thought that was driven by, low, by expectation of low interest rates plus near-term stimulus. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.